feels pretty good. <laughs> feels really good. Uh, I can't believe uh, I can't believe how everything just came together over the last. What's it been? Three years? Has it been three years we've been together? In three years, Paul and I've been together. We're two for three, Paul. You know that, right? I was just thinking about that. Two for three. That's sixty. What is that? Six 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 average. Well, I, I don't want to round up there, but uh, that's pretty good. And you know what? I, I feel like the best is yet to come. I really do. Um, I feel like this team, with these two people sitting next to me, that we can do anything we set our mind to if we work together like we have over the last few years. I really do. And I just feel so fortunate to be where I'm at right now in, in life and with racing to have guys like this around me because you're a product of who you surround yourself by. And I'm surrounded by the best. And uh, that's as sweet as life gets, to know that you have people around you that can make up for you when you make mistakes. Because we all make mistakes, and I make a ton of them. Uh, but I know that when I make them, I got people that got my back. So thank you, guys. I don't feel like there was ever a part before the race where I was stressed out. I was stressed out over that yellow flag cycle at the end because, uh, you know, obviously the, the right call there was probably to pit. Um, but that's not the way it played out for us. I'm so thankful that we drove back to 15th so that I don't have to hear for the rest of my life about how if the 48 had not had them problems, he'd have won the championship. Uh, so I'll, thanks, Paul, for doing that. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it, there were some doubts at that moment when that whole cycle was going through, and you just don't know who's on what strategy. I don't know. I'm driving a car, and I'm listening to them, and I can hear their voice, and their voice wasn't real confident, I can tell you that. Um, so I got to rewatch the race, and, and maybe I'll have doubts then. Does that count? Well, I think I suffered from some serious confidence issues when I first came into Cup um, that were a result of, uh, you, you know, a, a lot of things, um, mostly just not having the speed uh, to be successful and trying to do too much. Um, I was trying too hard to be the, the I in team, and there is none. Uh, and, and that's pretty obvious looking back now, but I didn't know that. Uh, I do now. Uh, but it, it's, it's not until you have the group around you that shows you that you don't have to do all the work, that you can share it, and that as long as you respect them, care about them, and work with them, you can be successful. And that's something I had to learn on my own. I never had anybody teach me that. I never, nobody ever taught me about teamwork. That's something I had to learn on my own. My family, my parents, my mom and dad, they taught me about work ethic. Uh, they taught me what it meant to be a part of a family that had each other's back. But it's a lot different when you're not family. You know, it's a lot different when you walk into a group. Of, what are we, like 390 employees now? 350, somewhere in there? I'm not related to any of them. Uh, so that I know of, yeah. He is now. <laughs> I am now. So completely different trying to motivate somebody that you're not related to whose livelihood doesn't depend necessarily on your success. You know, to some extent it does. But And so from that standpoint, I didn't understand teamwork. I don't know. I'm going to meet some cool people. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to date a celebrity. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> That'd be really cool, don't you think? <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, do I have to pick one? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that, Carrie. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Not a Kardashian. I'm just, just throwing that out there. 